Look at the career of your family. Look at their career path. Your grandfather worked in Nigerian Railway. Your father worked in Nigerian Airways. Now you are in Naples. It's not a generational cost. It's a generational choice. Because nobody in your lineage has ever done business before. They are all salary earners. If you see the way people are rejoicing, what do you share? Secretary at low and say, civil service, what do you share ministry? And I'm looking, I see people are still on this level. They are rejoicing because somebody got a job, a civil servant, a servant, a servant, a servant. After 30 years, look, 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 look. Any company or organization you enter, let me give you a watch. When you resume like this, pam, the day you resume, do a scanning. It's called mental scan. Scan car park, how many car they there? Scan everybody, their dress, their shoe, their belt, their bag. Scan their resource. Scan their life. And begin to ask yourself, this one done the year for 17 years. This one done the year for 15 years. Those people you are seeing, they are a prophetic picture of your future. Now, so your life go be in 15 years' time. Hello? And then a young man that decided not to follow that path and decided to go into entrepreneurship. You are mocking him. And then six years later, he's a CEO. He's doing turnover of one billion. He said, We don't even know what they do. I'm cutting soap for you now. There is no soap that is more than this one. <laughs> Collect this wisdom soap now or settle for fake soap. Have you noticed that the Babala was cutting soap for people is still in the bush? If the soap they help, why is it? <laughs> Hello? So check. Your father was a civil servant. Your grandfather, civil servant. Your mother, salary earner. Your grandmother, salary earner. You are a generation of salary earners. There is a limit to what salary can do in your life. That's why it's where you are, where you are. 